Here are a few things I do to help control my blood pressure. 15. Natural ways to lower blood pressure. Exercise. Sodium. Alcohol. Potassium. Caffeine. Stress. Dark chocolate. Lose weight. Quit smoking. Sugar and carbs. Berries. Meditation. Calcium. Supplements. Magnesium. Take home message. High blood pressure is a dangerous condition that can damage your heart. It affects 1 in 3 people in the US and 1 billion people worldwide. If left uncontrolled, high blood pressure raises your risk of heart disease and stroke. But there's good news. There are a number of things you can do to lower your blood pressure naturally, even without medication. Here are 15 natural ways to combat high blood pressure. 1. Walk and exercise regularly. Exercise is perhaps everything thing you can manage to bring down hypertension. Ordinary exercise helps make your heart more grounded and more productive at siphoning blood, which brings down the strain in your conduits. Indeed, 150 minutes of moderate exercise, like strolling, or 75 minutes of incredible exercise, like running, each week, can assist lower with blooding pressure and further develop your heart well-being. Additionally, Doing much more exercise than this lessens your circulatory strain significantly further, as indicated by the National Walker's Health Study. Primary concern, walking only 30 minutes daily can assist with bringing down your circulatory strain. More exercise diminishes it much further. To reduce your sodium intake. Salt admission is high all throughout the planet. In huge part, this is because of handled and arranged food varieties. Thus, numerous general well-being endeavors are pointed toward bringing down salt in the food business, six trusted source. Many investigations have connected high salt admission with hypertension and heart occasions, including stroke, seven trusted source, eight trusted source. In any case, later examination shows that the connection among sodium and hypertension is less clear, nine trusted source, ten. One justification behind this might be hereditary contrasts in how individuals measure sodium. About portion of individuals with hypertension and a fourth of individuals with typical levels appear to have an effectability to salt, 11 trusted source. In the event that you as of now have hypertension, it merits scaling back your sodium admission to check whether it has an effect. Trade out handled food varieties with new ones and have a go at preparing with spices and flavors as opposed to salt. Main concern, most rules for bringing down circulatory strain suggest diminishing sodium admission. Nonetheless, that proposal may bode well for individuals who are salt touchy. 3. Drink less alcohol. Drinking liquor can raise pulse. Indeed, Liquor is connected to 16% of hypertension cases all throughout the planet. While some exploration has proposed that low to direct measures of liquor might ensure the heart, those advantages might be counterbalanced by antagonistic impacts. In the US, moderate liquor utilization is characterized as close to one beverage daily for ladies and two for men. In the event that you drink more than that, cut back. Main concern, Drinking liquor in any amount might raise your circulatory strain. Breaking point your drinking in accordance with the suggestions. 4. Eat more potassium-rich foods. Potassium is a significant mineral. It assists your body with disposing of sodium and facilitates strain on your veins. Present-day eats less carbs have expanded a great many people's sodium consumption while diminishing potassium admission. To improve equilibrium of potassium to sodium in your eating regimen, center around eating less handled food varieties and all the more new, entire food varieties. Food varieties that are especially high in potassium include vegetables, particularly salad greens, tomatoes, potatoes, and yams. Organic product, including melons, bananas, avocados, oranges, and apricots. Dairy, like milk and yogurt. Fish and salmon. Nuts and seeds. Beans. Primary concern, eating new leafy foods, which are wealthy in potassium, can assist lower with blooding pressure. 
5. Cut back on caffeine. In the event that you've at any point brought down some espresso before you've had your circulatory strain taken, you'll realize that caffeine causes a moment support. In any case, there's not a great deal of proof to propose that drinking caffeine routinely can cause an enduring increment. Indeed, individuals who drink jazzed espresso and tea will in general have a lower hazard of coronary illness, including hypertension, than the people who don't drink it. Caffeine might strongly affect individuals who don't burn through it routinely. 19. On the off chance that you speculate you're caffeine touchy, slice back to check whether it brings down your circulatory strain. Primary concern, caffeine can cause a momentary spike in circulatory strain, in spite of the fact that for some individuals, it doesn't cause an enduring increment. 6. Learn to manage stress. Stress is a key driver of high blood pressure. When you're chronically stressed, your body is in a constant fight or flight mode. On a physical level, that means a faster heart rate and constricted blood vessels. When you experience stress, you might also be more likely to engage in other behaviors, such as drinking alcohol or eating unhealthful food that can adversely affect blood pressure. Several studies have explored how reducing stress can help lower blood pressure. Here are two evidence-based tips to try. Listen to soothing music, calming music can help relax your nervous system. Research has shown it's an effective complement to other blood pressure therapies. Work less, working a lot, and stressful work situations, in general, are linked to high blood pressure. Bottom line, chronic stress can contribute to high blood pressure. Finding ways to manage stress can help. 7. Eat dark chocolate or cocoa. Here's a piece of advice you can really get behind. While eating massive amounts of dark chocolate probably won't help your heart, small amounts may. That's because dark chocolate and cocoa powder are rich in flavonoids, which are plant compounds that cause blood vessels to dilate. A review of studies found that flavonoid-rich cocoa improved several markers of heart health over the short term, including lowering blood pressure. For the strongest effects, use non-alkalized cocoa powder, which is especially high in flavonoids and has no added sugars. Bottom line, dark chocolate and cocoa powder contain plant compounds that help relax blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. 8. Lose weight. People with overweight, losing weight can make a big difference to heart health. According to a 2016 study, losing 5% of your body mass could significantly lower high blood pressure. In previous studies, losing 17.64 pounds, 8 kilograms, was linked to lowering systolic blood pressure by 8.5 mm Hg and diastolic blood pressure by 6.5 mm Hg. To put that in perspective, a healthy reading should be less than 120-80 mmHg. The effect is even greater when weight loss is paired with exercise. Losing weight can help your blood vessels do a better job of expanding and contracting, making it easier for the left ventricle of the heart to pump blood. Bottom line, losing weight can significantly lower high blood pressure. This effect is even more significant when you exercise. 9. Quit smoking. Among the many reasons to quit smoking is that the habit is a strong risk factor for heart disease. Every puff of cigarette smoke causes a slight, temporary increase in blood pressure. The chemicals in tobacco are also known to damage blood vessels. Surprisingly, studies haven't found a conclusive link between smoking and high blood pressure. Perhaps this is because smokers develop a tolerance over time. Still, since both smoking and high blood pressure raise the risk of heart disease, quitting smoking can help lessen that risk. Bottom line, there's conflicting research about smoking and high blood pressure, but what is clear is that both increase the risk of heart disease. 10. Cut added sugar and refined carbs. There's a growing body of research showing a link between added sugar and high blood pressure. In the Framingham Women's Health Study, women who drank even one soda per day had higher levels than those who drank less than one soda per day. Another study found that having one less sugar-sweetened beverage per day was linked to lower blood pressure. And it's not just sugar all refined carbs, 
such as the kind found in white flour convert rapidly to sugar in your bloodstream and may cause problems. Some studies have shown that low-carb diets may also help reduce blood pressure. One study on people undergoing statin therapy found that those who went on a six-week, carb-restricted diet saw a greater improvement in blood pressure and other heart disease markers than people who did not restrict carbs. Bottom line, refined carbs, especially sugar, may raise blood pressure. Some studies have shown that low-carb diets may help reduce your levels. 11. Eat berries. Berries are full of more than just juicy flavor. They're also packed with polyphenols, natural plant compounds that are good for your heart. Polyphenols can reduce the risk of stroke, heart conditions, and diabetes, as well as improving blood pressure, insulin resistance, and systemic inflammation. One study assigned people with high blood pressure to a low polyphenol diet or a high polyphenol diet containing berries, chocolate, fruits, and vegetables. Those consuming berries and polyphenol-rich foods experienced improved markers of heart disease risk. Bottom line, berries are rich in polyphenols, which can help lower blood pressure and the overall risk of heart disease. 12. Try meditation or deep breathing. While these two behaviors could also fall under stress reduction techniques, meditation and deep breathing deserve specific mention. Both meditation and deep breathing may activate the parasympathetic nervous system. This system is engaged when the body relaxes, slowing the heart rate, and lowering blood pressure. There's quite a bit of research in this area, with studies showing that different styles of meditation appear to have benefits for lowering blood pressure. Deep breathing techniques can also be quite effective. In one study, participants were asked to either take six deep breaths over the course of 30 seconds or simply sit still for 30 seconds. Those who took breaths lowered their blood pressure more than those who just sat. Try guided meditation or deep breathing. Here's a video to get you started. Bottom line, both meditation and deep breathing can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps slow your heart rate and lower blood pressure. 13. Eat calcium-rich foods. People with low calcium intake often have high blood pressure. While calcium supplements haven't been conclusively shown to lower blood pressure, calcium-rich diets do seem linked to healthful levels. For most adults, the calcium recommendation is 1000 mg mg per day. For women over 50 and men over 70, it's 1200 mg per day. In addition to dairy, you can get calcium from collard greens and other leafy greens, beans, sardines, and tofu. Here is a list of calcium-rich plant-based foods. Bottom line, calcium-rich diets are linked to healthy blood pressure levels. You can get calcium through eating dark leafy greens and tofu, as well as dairy. 14. Take natural supplements. Some natural supplements may also help lower blood pressure. Here are some of the main supplements that have evidence behind them. Aged garlic extract. Researchers have used aged garlic extract successfully as a standalone treatment and along with conventional therapies for lowering blood pressure. Berberine. Traditionally used in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine, berberine may increase nitric oxide production, which helps decrease blood pressure. Whey protein. A 2016 study found that whey protein improved blood pressure and blood vessel function in 38 participants. Fish oil, long credited with improving heart health, fish oil may benefit people with high blood pressure the most. Hibiscus, hibiscus flowers make a tasty tea. They're rich in anthocyanins and polyphenols that are good for your heart and may lower blood pressure. 15. Eat foods rich in magnesium. Magnesium is an important mineral that helps blood vessels relax. While magnesium deficiency is pretty rare, many people don't get enough. Some studies have suggested that getting too little magnesium is linked with high blood pressure, but evidence from clinical studies has been less clear. Still, eating a magnesium-rich diet is a recommended way to ward off high blood pressure. You can incorporate magnesium into your diet by consuming vegetables, dairy products, legumes, chicken, meat, and whole grains. Bottom line, magnesium is an essential mineral that helps regulate blood pressure. Find it in whole foods, 
such as legumes and whole grains. Bring home message. High blood pressure affects a large proportion of the world's population. While drugs are one way to treat the condition, there are many other natural techniques, including eating certain foods that can help. I hope this was helpful to you. For entertainment purposes only.